the hypocritical Abrahamic Octoritas has ever preached that the meteorite's fall was their god's punishment for humanity's meddling in science. <laughs> it was not their god, but ours. Great Cthulhu will once again deliver us into the peace of a new dark age. You have seen it in your dreams. The great old one will awake, but only with your help. Prove your faith in him and me as we... Cthulhu's demands are dictated by the heavens. Tonight, the moon and stars are in the phase of the mouth ritual. No more Deborah, he's still in there. We'll get him to his execution. You were right. All I had to do was mention Toy Tommy and Bridge Tab to the captain. <laughs> Here we are. I don't know what Dunbar will do once he finds out your little secret. As far as I'm concerned, you ought to be in that cage with him. You got a problem, little lady. Speak up. <laughs> At the height of the Victorian age, an asteroid crossed our orbit. It did not collide with the Earth, but with cursed luck, our planet did not miss the debris in its wake. Millions perished. However, Earth was reshaped and the skylands lifted by the strange etherite ore in the meteorites. Eventually, civilization rose again. This is the year 997, and adventure is inescapable in these dirigible days. Commander Kaitel, we have word from our men in a great wall. <laughs> Albertson? I didn't think he had it in him. No, no, he, he doesn't, sir. He's dead. Was it the Dragoon Corps again? No, not this time, sir. It was it was just two men, sir. Cornell left with them, and he had Strega with them. Stra Strega was, was with them. We have their bearings. Yes, yes, sir, we do. Fire up the boilers. I want to be airborne in 20 minutes. Aye, aye, sir. Excellent shot, sir. Well, go!
We all have our little secrets, I'm sure. And as long as this boat runs smoothly, I'm content to overlook them, believe me. Except when someone brings a damn Cthulhu cultist aboard my ship! Whoa, Captain, relax. Why couldn't it have been somebody from the Sisterhood of the Almighty Orgy? Do you have something you want to tell your captain and our ugly engineer here? Mom thinks I'm ugly. I knew something was odd. Your curious disdain for Cornell and this prisoner of his? Why you picked me out of all the other captains in Dolly? Damn alcohol. You never drink it again. I bet he does. Is Cornell in your employ? Why? And who is this prisoner to you? Hey! Hey, come on! Sorry. Here, Hoop, fix that, will you? Sure. I want to hear it from you. when she's really pissed, right, Robo Josie? Hmm. Look who's talking. Why don't you just explain what's going on here? Ugh. His name is Salazar Strega. I wanted to personally make sure he gets what he deserves. We have a history that ended with this. Oh, well, it is a pretty scar. So, what, you were a Cthulhu cultist? Whoa, 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 what, 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 what's this, uh, what kind of vessel am I serving on here? What's a hula hoop cult? Cthulhu, Cthulhu cult. cult! Terrorists? Love, blood, death, gore, all that fun stuff? Do you remember that time when Beddington Skyfield exploded? Yeah, yeah, Frisco Harbor was on high alert for a few weeks. Rumor has it that the Cthulhu cult was responsible. Killed hundreds. Including my family. Well, I guess it's story time. Not much to tell. When I met Salad Strega, he was a different man. Nothing at all like that thing we brought aboard. Things between us didn't end well. Why didn't you tell me this sooner? Come on, Captain! You and I both know you would never allow a Cthulhu cultist on the Beatrix after your experience with them in the Sky Constabulary. You're damn right. It's religions will use their sacred scriptures to justify any atrocity so long as it suits their needs. These Cthulhu ones are a particularly gruesome lot to boot. Last week, Cornell contacted me saying he would soon have Strega and Dally. I made sure our engine gave out as we neared Great Wall so we would be nearby. Without an engineer, it was easy to... Sabotage the ship, Josie? He was on his last leg anyways. I need to see Strega punished for what he did to me and my family. Cornell has been collecting that bounty from Rabasa. There's some grisly justice in store for that guy. I'm not happy about this. And I'm not quite sure that I want some former squidhead flying my ship. I can't say that I don't sympathize with your tale. Let's just complete this job and get this psychopath off of Beatrix. And if you want to stay on this dirigible, do not ever go behind my back again, Josie. Do you get me? I sir. Wait, 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 wait. What happened in Bridgetown? Looks like the Aether Storm settled down. Take us to communication altitude so we can send a clear transmogram. You know, I've been putting off telling Humboldt that his shipment's gonna be late thanks to this prisoner fiasco. We'll continue this conversation later. And then Cornell and I are gonna have a little chat. 
And he better be bright-eyed and bushy-tailed for this one. So you were in a cult, huh? Tell me, does this uh, Cthulhu play checkers, huh? You wanna play checkers with me? It's not whiskey or gin or puffed in a pipe Not opium or laudanum, a different high Not for ordinary mortals, a different vice for after hours gentlemen who fib and lie Leave brandies and cigars, games of bridge with wives And stride briskly to a risky life Down back streets the air's thick and rife Bad atmosphere, a glimpse of crime Mind your business tight lipped arrive To a dingy hiding place where you give your tithe Receive for your shilling a liquid prize One swig first sign is a twitching eye Your mind begins to fizz, unzip and writhe Your hat brim widens, grip the sides A delightful sick